hello everyone hope you're all okay right today i'm coming on to do another revisited project share thingy with you but first of all i, I want to show you something else as well but i'd just like to say hello to all my new subscribers and welcome to my channel and thank you ever so much for everybody else that always visits me and leaves lovely messages and also a big thank you to the people that um, share my videos uh, somebody told me the other day that Nina's been I don't know about sharing but he said that Nina mentions me a lot so I'm sure I get a lot of subscribers um, from Nina's channel so thank you Nina and just generally thank you to everybody and big love to you all <laughs> all right first of all I'm going to show you this look this is Ursula all the unicorns that are in the house are called Ursula <laughs> And this is what my lovely friend Phaedra sent me as part of my, um, well, not birthday present. It was a, um, a gift that she'd been meaning to send for a long time, but it came in time for my birthday. So it's my birthday present. And it was, I don't know what it was called, but it was this little pot. And then you got like a little uh, um, pellet thing of compost and you just put the compost in pour water on and it like psh, all expands and then a little packet of grass seed and i'm going to give a little pig tails it's, it's only taken a week for it to grow i couldn't believe it i like i forgot to look one day and i was like whoa she's got hair so i'm going to give a little pig tails today just for a bit of fun these are like little loom bands Another day we might cut her hair. Yeah, I actually use these loom bands in my hair, which I know it's not good for your hair, but I've got crap hair anyway. I've never had good hair. I've not got a lot of hair and it's it's really fine. <laughs> oh look, she looks so cute! Look, and I wear my hair in piggy tails. How cute is that? I hope you can see all right. I've, I've got the, oh, I need to, it's like a um, a swan neck. Oh, can you smell it? Can you, oh, just smells like I've been cutting the grass. Um, a swan neck clip-on thing for my, my camera. So, and I've just been moving it about. So, look, she's so cute. Yeah, we'll cut her hair another day. So I think she can, she's been down in the living room, but I think she can live there up on the glue pot. And then I can see her now. We'll put her in the window and then I can see her little face. Right, enough twaddle. Uh, first thing, I've ju I'm still tidying my craft room, having a sort out and a such like, and I've just stumbled across this little booklet. I, I must have done this two or three years ago sure some of you probably remember it's when i i'm not a confident sewer and i don't sew very often but i have got a machine and every time i start it i'm like oh how do i thread it i'm really useless with sewing but i like doing it once i get into it and this particular day i thought right i can't remember what i was sewing but i'd got some scraps of fabric and i thought oh well i'll, I'll check it first on some fabric on some scrap fabric well i couldn't get the tension right it was a right mess so then i thought well i'm blooming sure i'm not throwing that out what can i do with it and it's ended up turning into a little halloween journal and i absolutely love it I, I, I did think i might give it away but i just can't bear to part with it because i love it i don't save a lot of my stuff so you know any mistakes you do whatever you do don't just throw it away i mean look at it look you can see that the, the uh, i don't know what i was doing but oh it was it was hideous but it's just perfect for a little halloween journal and these were i got a, it was on a long piece of ribbon that i got from boys 
you often get scraps, well not scraps, but um, end of line I suppose it is and I've got a great big long piece of that and this orange trim, my lovely friend Penny Humphreys sent me that and then I just used some of my painty papers in sort of fitting colours I've not written in, oh and I sewed it, just sewed it, I thought oh well it's a scrappy thing anyway so I just sewed it down, down the middle roughly and I, I absolutely love that. I really, really love it. And I'm sure, and I'm not a Halloween y person, but it just. Oh, and then I put some Tim Holtz books and. No, I didn't. It's not Tim Holtz. It's my um, Dymo machine. Mr. Doodle's Dymo machine. Spooks and spells. So that's that. Right, last night I was tidying all my stuff at the back of the door. I've got all coat hooks and stuff on the back of my door. <sighs> it was getting a right mess, so I had everything down. And I've, there's a little bag up there. And oh, what's in there? And I found this. Well, I didn't. There's tea bags that I'd done ages ago. And it, all individual tea bags so I thought well, I'll stick those together and I'll just stuck them down the edge just dried tea bags oh, excuse me and I'd I'd already stamped on them so I say I just stuck them all together and made like a little booklet you can see all right I say I have shown these before but a long long time ago this is probably oh, I would say at least three years ago and the next thing I'm going to show you and the stamps I was lucky enough to get a load of their wooden wooden block stamps from a, a craft shop that's well, it's about 30 40 minutes away from us but we used to go there a lot and they were selling these stamps for a pound and oh they got loads of them and I, I, I kept getting some and thought oh no I can't get any more and then when I went back another time they'd stopped selling them but that one was a bit crappy on the so that one went on the back so there's that and then that made me think oh I've still got and at the same time, it, say it must be three or four years ago, three years, probably three years. And it says, look, unfinished vintage journal. Mr. Doodle was having a, a tidy out of his cupboard one day and he says, are these any good to you? And he got a load of payslip envelopes, <coughs> but great big, you know, mailing envelopes, if you like. You still see his name there, look, Richard. I says, oh, no, don't throw those out. I'll have those. So I thought, oh, I know. I'll make a vintage, vintage style journal. Yeah. So this is the papers that I started to use. Old treasures. This was from the works. Sorry for the glare. I'm not taking it out of the cover. And I've used some of my coffee or tea dyed. I don't know what they are, tea dyed, I think. I don't know. But it's never got finished, has it? <laughs> so, no, I, I can't even remember. Oh, I, ju I just, yeah, I just concertinaed it, just so stuck the. I don't really know how I've done it, actually. Yeah, just that bit stuck onto the next of that bit if that makes sense so this is as far as I've got there's nothing in there went over it all the pages with gesso and then I've got loads of these doilies that I've been that I had been coffee staining tea staining so I've just made that little bit there little righty bit pocket there but there's nothing in that pocket and I've used some of the paper there can you see all right yes I think you can 
What have we got there? Oh, there's a, one of my doilies and I've decided to stick a tea bag on that. But looking at it now, it would have been better if I'd cut a circle. But it is what it is. A little pocket there. This side, what have I done there? Oh, just... That needs gluing down a bit more. Just put two doilies there. Some paper there with a pocket there. And just, uh, is that stuck down? Yeah, that's stuck down there. There's a pocket there. And nothing in there. This was a big oval shaped doily. So I just folded it in half and folded it in half again. So there's like little quite whether this will ever get finished, I don't know. And then I just stuck it down those two edges so there is like little pockets. Oh, it's the one, two, three, four pockets there, if you want. Nothing there, nothing there. So then we're on to the back and I didn't know whether I was going to actually leave it as like a big concertina one or, you know, stick them down. I don't know. No, we're not on to the back. We've got this bit here. I don't know what to do, if, if anything at all. So I'll put some paper on there and a pocket. What's this? Yeah, just a little note look thingy. Some more paper there and a little pocket there. Oh, Ooh, that was adventurous, wasn't it? Doily there and made like a little notebook there. Nothing in there and I'd left that bit like that. And then I don't think I've done anything on... No, that's as, that's as far as I've got. And I, oh, in some places I'd stuck some reinforcing tape on. Yeah. I'll so say that's as far as I've got. There's another tea bag there, look. A scrap paper there. Oh, and a tag. I've done a tag. That was just a plain brown tag that I'd bought from somewhere. I just went over it with a bit of gesso, it looks like, and then stamped on it <sighs> so I've got these papers left oh another oh that's a little oh that is a like a little cash envelope thing oh it says name class and amount oh it's a, like a children's money pouch thing then oh and I'd already made a little booklet out of the tea bags. Well, this one, oh, I'd separated the tea bags. This is finer. I'd separated the tea bags for that one, which got the same front one. But this is whole tea bags, and it feels as though I've put Mod Podge over the top to make it a bit sturdier. Actually, I, I love it. Actually, I do like all sorts of things. I know. The majority of my stuff these days are loud, bright things, but, you know, I do love this sort of thing as well. I think I especially like that, but then I like these as well. But whether that will ever get finished, Lord only knows. It's not going to get finished today, I do know that much. I'll put that back in there because that's where it was, and I'll stick that one in there as well. It's own. What's everybody up to? Are you doing anything exciting? Mr Doodles, I just spoke to Mr Doodle and it's what time is it? It's quarter to twelve. Friday morning, quarter to twelve and he thinks he might be home at one o'clock time. They've not got a lot of work on. He's just had three weeks holiday, but they, they still haven't got a lot of work on. So, <sighs> yeah. I'm a lost cause, me, aren't I, with my projects? 
I mean, a lot of you people that, ladies that, well, and gents, I suppose, that, that um, I must keep saying gents as well. A lot of you lovely subbies. <laughs> um, you know, you'd have this finished in no way. You'd have had it finished three years ago, but not me. I just do a bit and then. Uh, we'll leave that for another day. So it's got its own naughty folder. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's not a naughty folder. It's um, it's the relaxation. It's its relaxation lounge. It's yes. <laughs> It's doing a bit of feng shui on itself. <laughs> right, I am going and... <laughs> oh, I do talk the biggest load of twaddle, don't I? Going to go and get... Oh, I've got the hoover out. Need to hoover up. What's that? There's a needle on the floor. Oh, no, it's not a needle. Um, get hoovered up in here a bit and then start on that side. That side of the room. Oh God, wish me luck. I need to do some crafting. I want to get paint on my hands. Well, I have actually just done a little bit this morning of touching something up. I got a little bit sidetracked, but yes. Right, enough twaddle. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. Thanks very much for watching. If you're fed up with these revisited projects, just tell me so and I won't do any more. But I know some of you have said you you like them and some of you who are you know long time followers you probably missed it and whatever but yeah take care love your loads bye